How many times has your makeup ended up looking like this because you used the wrong powder? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ohima Bansu and if this is your first time clicking to watch any of my videos, welcome. I'm really glad that you're here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome to the first video of 2019. I know, I look crazy. I have like one bright, bright under eye and one dim under eye and you guys are trying to figure out what's going on. So if you've read the title of this video, we are doing another powders video. So we're doing another best setting powder for dark skin. I'm going to name this part two because there is a part one out there. So this is the best setting powder for dark skin part two. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the luxury powders from Ben Nye. So in my first video, I did the translucent powders and those don't have luxury written on it. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the luxury powders, which have luxury written on it. So according to Ben Nye, the brand, they said that the luxury powders offer a lighter silky texture and a wider color selection. Topaz is now part of the luxury series after they changed the formula. And right now I have Topaz, Caramel, Dolce, Olive Sand, Clay, Nutmeg, and Dark Cocoa. For our intents and purposes, I'm going to be showing you guys dark cocoa, nutmeg, and clay because those are the three that are closely matched to our skin tone. So if you want to see which one of these colors is the three that I mentioned, then keep on watching because I mean, you can clearly tell that I, this looks really bright, right? And this doesn't look this bright. So yeah, this video is just going to help us make sure that our foundation looks really beautiful and blended and pretty all the way through. Okay, so if you want to see which powders is good for us to use to get that beautiful blended look and keep on watching. All right. The first time I did this video, I used the translucent powders from Ben Nye and today we're going to be using the luxury powders. In that video, I know that Pretty in Pink was looking good. However, since then I did go ahead and use Pretty in Pink and I did not like the final results of it. It actually made my face look ghostly. I don't want to say, I don't, like you could tell like it had like a slight white cast to it and in that picture in that video, I mean you guys could clearly tell there was something wrong. I don't think that it would be good for setting or baking your concealer areas, okay? So today we have, we have like a lot of the luxury powders and I also have like the luxury powders in like small versions compared to the big version so you can see. Okay, so my face is already, I already have foundation on and I already have concealer on. So I'm just gonna jump right into the powders. So for today, we're going to try clay. There is nutmeg, which I kind of sort of liked how nutmeg looked on when I tried it. And there is dark cocoa. Dark cocoa in the big jar looks a lot darker than dark cocoa in the small jar see so yeah i'm gonna try these three and of course the shades in my last video that i thought worked really well for me were ebony and chestnut so first i am going to go ahead and set the left side of my face with clay i'm just going to put some of it in the cover okay, i'm going to use a vita joseph g215 brush and I'm going to use that to set the left side of my face. If there's more powders that come that come along, I will go ahead and try them out and you know put another video together for you guys because I feel like powders are the one thing that can ruin a makeup look like so fast, like it can kill the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna set my under eye. So clay is giving me like it's it's brightening my under eye up. Like if you're someone who likes a brighter under eye, I think this would be it for you. I think it's too bright for me. Like personally for me, this is too bright. Okay, so I'm gonna put clay aside and I'm gonna go in with with nutmeg and I'm going to put nutmeg on my forehead. Nutmeg has like, nutmeg almost kind of looks like chestnuts for me. They almost, they almost, almost look the same, but I think nutmeg, uh, chestnut is a little bit 
redder compared to nutmeg. I will use this tapered highlighter brush. It's really small. And this brush is actually from Jessup. I always pat it in first and then after I get enough, I blend it out. Ooh. It matches so much. I feel like this matches a lot better than, um, than my chestnut because with chestnut, I have to put a little bit of sienna in there to kind of sort of mute the red a little bit. Like on my skin tone, clay is very, very brightening. And see, uh, what is it? Nutmeg is like, I feel like nutmeg is the same shade as my, as my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use dark cocoa on this, on the right side of my face. Okay, so this is dark cocoa and I'm taking some dark cocoa. At this point in time, like trying it right now, compared to chestnut, I think nutmeg is more of a better tone because if you have a reddish undertone, you should definitely go with chestnut. But if you have a slightly neutral to golden undertone, I think that nutmeg would be good for you. I, I, it's a mess. So here the powders are, okay? This is chestnut and this is nutmeg. They almost kind of look the same, but you can see that chestnut is, this is chestnut by the way, the one that has a lot in it. Chestnut has like a slightly deeper reddish shade than nutmeg does. Dark cocoa though, dark cocoa gives me a really smooth. I like how dark cocoa is looking in my skin. So I think that I'm gonna start using dark cocoa for a while. So for those that like to bake, I'm going to put some dark cocoa on my under eye. It's, it's barely visible. It's like it's not there. So I'm going to take nutmeg and I am going to... You guys, nutmeg is... Like, nut nutmeg has a brightening effect, but it's not as bright as clay. And at this point, should I even go ahead and try to, um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to bake with clay because I'm not going to be able to blend it out to make it look nice. Because even right now, it's giving me like a really bright under eye already. You know, and with this, I put a lot on my forehead, but you can't even see it. So I'm just going to brush it off and I'm gonna brush off dark cocoa which is non-existent on my skin I like my makeup like this like it's not too bright so yeah I have three powders on my face I have dark cocoa on the right side of my face and I have nutmeg on my forehead and I have clay on the left side of my face. Let me know down below in the comments which ones you prefer. Are you someone who likes like a brighter under eye look or like a brighter concealed area look? I like the look that chestnut is giving me because it kind of sort of matches the concealer that I use. And dark cocoa just matches everything. Dark cocoa is my skin. Oh, like at least the... Dark cocoa is the shade of my face, okay? And it looks, it looks good. So this is nutmeg, okay? This is what nutmeg looks like on my skin. How does it look ashy on my skin? This is what dark cocoa looks like on my skin. And this is what, uh, what is it? This is what clay looks like on my skin. So my favorite powder, which was chestnut, which is now changing to um, nutmeg, I'm going to put that on my chin area and show you guys what that looks like. I love chestnut, like absolutely love the bananas out of chestnut, but as you can see, it is slightly red compared to nutmeg. I feel like nutmeg matches way better. I mean, in all honesty, I, I get it. I understand why people like a brighter under eye because it is so bright. It is so bright. You know?
Let me know down below in the comments which one you like best. This is chestnut, my old favorite. This is dark cocoa. This is nutmeg. No, 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 not dark cocoa. This is dark cocoa. This is nutmeg. And this is clay. But I don't have affiliate codes with any of the brands, any of the links that I'm linking down below. But I do know that Benai and I are like friends now. You know what I mean? Like, so that's why if they send me a product that I feel will work for us, I will show it to you. Because in all honesty, they're the only brands that I have found to have foundations that have numerous tomes for dark skin, powders that have numerous shades for dark skin. And, you know, everything works. Everything blends together beautifully. So why would I not come tell you guys every time they send me something? You know, the one thing that can kill any makeup look is a powder that's not right for your look. Because if you blend it out your foundation properly, and you blend it out your concealer properly, and you put the wrong powder on it, it's over. It is over. Nothing you can do will save that look. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.